Welcome back, everybody. To welcome dirty. back, everybody. To welcome dirty. back, everybody. <laughs> Sorry for the loop. <laughs> Sorry for the unintentional loop at the beginning here. Welcome back, everyone, to Dirty Issues Gaming. This is Phil the Issues Guy. Today I'm going to be doing something fun. Doing a bit of a playthrough. I'm not going to play through the whole game right now, obviously. A game called Thimbleweed Park that just got released on the Nintendo Switch. I'm excited to talk about this game. I'm a big fan of the person who created this game. This is by Ron Gilbert and Gary Winnick, who mainly worked on games like Maniac Mansion and so a few other really awesome adventure games. What's funny about this is about a week or so ago, I downloaded a King's Quest game. <laughs> so I kind of got the feel again for adventure games. And I just happened to get this as well. And I'm just going to kind of share my thoughts on it. Play it a little bit. I'm kind of curious how a game like this is going to feel playing now. I played a few seconds of it before just to kind of get a feel for what it is, what's going on with it going to be, I don't know how long I can play a game like this, <laughs> but it's going to be fun to see. Let's get this party started. And this will be one of those streams, and some people are probably, some people listening to this will be like, thank the fucking spaghetti monster. I'm probably not going to be talking a lot in this stream. This could be a silent stream, because so much of this game requires listening. So we're going to kind of keep a closer eye on the narrative of this game. Oh, I like it hard. Yeah, I get it. I played Maniac Mansion. So as I mentioned before, I will be probably quiet through a lot of this stream. Unlike... Unlike usual. You better talk, motherfucker. Already I'm loving the style of this game. It looks fucking amazing just what I wanted to be playing. I've been wanting to play one of these kind of games for a while now. As I mentioned in my video game list I did on the Fill the Issues Guy channel, adventure games are very high up there, games like this. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. <laughs> you can always watch it, it later, to bro. To the <laughs> I get, down by the river. might be more interesting. Oh, yeah, that this was, looks yeah, like it. the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Sober up, sir. <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life.
Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. So, so far the controls feel pretty good for a game like this. It might get a little frustrating then we'd have to like point at items. The way you use these items to say I want to like open the gate, I'd have to like open. You click on open and you click on, click on the gate. Look at the note. Use the character. Especially with the controller and not a mouse. It's a little uh, clunky. But it, but it actually moves pretty well. I think I could get used to it. So far, so good. Like I mentioned, like the art style looks like it could be a forgotten game out of all of those things, but has a good seems to have a good sense of humor about it too. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. I wonder if I can I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Yes, I can. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park. 1.7 miles. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. I wonder if I can use this rock oh, you to fuck put her. out the light. Oh, you played it for the PC? Awesome. Yeah, so far I like it. I just need to get used to playing a game like this again. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Use. Use rock on sign. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. That doesn't seem to work. I wonder if I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Now you're gonna have to hear that stuff a lot, probably, as I'm figuring out how to fucking use this shit. I want to use. I the wonder rock. if I can use this rock. No, not to walk put out to the, the rock. Light. Use the rock. I wonder if I wonder no. if I can Why use can't this I rock use it? to put out the light. Had better follow the instructions on the note before wandering into the underbrush. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Da, ja, man. The light is very bright. I wonder if I can. I know use I can use it to, to break the fucking the light, light, but how do I fucking use it? Pick it up. Pick up the fucking rock. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Good. I just picked up the rock. Was that so fucking difficult? Completed step three of the note. Now for step four. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. I think it's just gonna take a little getting used to Omen. But obviously the interface would be easier with a mouse. 
I'm like having to control the mouse buttons with uh, a controller. I'm using the Pro Controller right now. You can use the touch screen on this as well. I just couldn't stream if I was using the touch screen. Boulder and Scully. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. The body is starting to pixelate. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. <laughs> Let's see here. There's oh. no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Good idea, Agent Ray. I've had enough chatting. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. What the it only contains one photo. I'll talk to you soon, Omen. And thank you so much for popping on in. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. It's an instant camera. It's an instant. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. It's an instant camera. But there, it's an instant. It, it's an in, it's, it's an instant camera. Why but can't no you filming. just give? His suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. There's no wallet in his pockets, but we found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. It's a sample pack. It's a sample pack. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. I've had enough chatting. It's a sample pack. It's a sample package it's of Polaroid so film. It only contains one yeah. photo. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. 
It only contains it's a sample either need to figure out the Polaroid trick of film. this or it this only is contains be a short play one photo because I can't keep actually giving I want to give the film to the dude with the camera and every time I click it's like no I don't want to look at it I'm gonna give it's a sample it's a sample package of Polaroid film it only contains one photo. You wouldn't happen to have a camera on you. Sure do. I've had enough chatting. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. His suit looks tailored. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. There's no wallet in his pockets, but we found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. It's a sample, it's a sample package of, it, it only can, it's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. Phil's getting frustrated. It's an instance, it's an instance camera, but there's no film in it. It's an instance camera, but there's no film in it. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. The camera is out of film. You think? I think we've established that. Like I don't have enough to carry already. What the fuck? Like seriously, that fu that work there? I actually gave her the camera, but what did I do differently that time that I didn't do every fucking other time? I love I like these type of games, I really do, but come on. I literally did the same exact thing I did every single time. There's no film in the camera. Ugh. Really? Use Polaroid film <laughs> on camera. Use camera on corpse. Ugh. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Is an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads the good parts? Is an empty can of is an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads the good parts? Looks like the road goes on forever.
it's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. What in the fuck is going on here? <laughs> what signal? So many questions. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, signals are very strong tonight. What? Brothers, if you're sisters. Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume, it was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. This is <laughs> fucked up. This is really fucked up. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. This is really odd. This, this is really <laughs> odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. These two are wigging me out. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Way Why too many sandwiches now. Why is it whenever a dead out? body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. Whack! Beep. Was. Whack. Click, 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 click. Boop. Boo. I don't know Beep. if I've had too many click, sandwiches click, click, click. and I'm imagining Beep. what's happening right Beep. now. Beep. Squeak. It's a plumbing van driven by big pigeons. Boop. Click, <laughs> click, click, click. Beep. From a six-pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Someone was watching me? Someone was fucking watching me? That's fucking creepy as fuck. Wait for me. I don't trust you. I don't want to wait for you. That's kind of cool that you can switch between characters. I wonder if you get more characters as the it's game dark. goes on. But I can see there's nothing in there. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Cut the Mayberry crap. We're taking over this case. 
Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murderer Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing this Ned Flanders cousin? about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is certain to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? <laughs> that was amazing. Howdy who, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who. Oh, these are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas who's in a pot of who. Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Arino he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that a who. Sure, whatever. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Arino? <laughs> no, that's what the Sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match a who. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in, and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck, Chuck built this town and was a I computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. 
No, he's just curious. He's a Pillow Factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017! Hip, 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 hip. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Maybe they should call it Vampire Tron? Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals, plus a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape. The Fingertron 3000 will check if they match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. I'm not putting my face in there. Lots of medical books there. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills in on the our state on of the, uh, the art Arino the, computers. Instead of the dead corpse. You're also the coroner, right? Oh my no. <laughs> no, 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 Arino. Uh, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as Pizzerinos in a Potterino. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state of the art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The Dude, final link you in were the, the same chain person of a with multiple personality disorder. Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry, Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Oh, Chuck. Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Okay. Standard city-issued desk, but with no drawers. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready. Just a bunch of files. 
There's a fingerprint book here. Yeah, that guy's delusional. He's the same person. What's going on here? No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. I'd really like to explore A Street. Street's closed until we fix this leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. <laughs> so, what can I do for you, honey? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird of Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. <laughs> this game is fucking hilarious. I'll give it that. Keep me playing it's fucking charming as shit. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this is before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Dave's not here, man. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act like at the Tendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Holy shit, I get to use the clown right now? Okay, this is this is amazing. So, you actually get to use characters in flashbacks? Thank you. 
meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Rinsing the clown! Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do! Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. What the hell is this? The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. I think it's more likely for a carrot top uh, <laughs> copyright claim. It's my lawyer's business card. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. My hair is all frizzy and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. <laughs> okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. F you! Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. It's my special custom made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it on every night. Sure as wish there were a more permanent variety. Now there's the face I love. <laughs> My hair is all frizzy. I can't go on like this. Gotta groom it up so I don't look like a wanker. This goof keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now.
sorry, but we're out to dinner. Call back next week. <laughs> I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best lines without it. No waiting, take a shot. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the Asswipe Clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, serves you right for playing the duckies. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told Just you before, random numbers. you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f*** am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do! 138 bucks in interest, you f loan shark! You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the three kids. But they still cry themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. How many kids do you say you have? I have three kids, why? Oh, uh, nothing. How many kids do you say you have? I have three kids, why? Oh, uh, nothing. Give me my joke book, face. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. You, I'm out of here. Hey, guaranteed to hit something. Grand prize if you. I don't, I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. Just take the big bucks. It's exactly 138 bucks in unmarked bills. Excuse me. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best line. Grand prize if you could shoot the hair up, Ransom the Clown! You got my money, Ransom the Asswipe Clown? I have your money. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. 
Where'd the grand you owe me? Eh, uh, thought you'd settle for less. Eh, uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. Eh, yeah, take a shot at the target. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting like gallery bird? squared. Oh, the number of kids that Carney Joe has. My circus poster features meanest clown of 1977 and meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Rents in the clown. How am I going to get a thousand dollars? It's my empty Rants of the Clown swear jar. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay. I look marvelous. Ready to knock them dead. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best lines without it. Hmm. Hmm. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick, JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick, JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. That doesn't seem to work. Why is the phone here if I don't have to use it? All operators are having dinner now. Call back tomorrow. Star 69 doesn't do anything? Weak. It's my special cut. Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stage entrance. Ransom, you idiot! Why did you push me? Oh! Hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. Ransom, you're a total I think my stilts are broken! 
I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! I think my steels are broken! Serves him right. The critic? It, it's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. We got prizes! We got prizes! He is too far away. Grand prize if you can shoot the hair up! You got my money, Ransom the Asswipe Clown? You, I'm out of here. Just shoot like a man or a little girl. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick, J.D. Legal Thanks. problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. It's fine where it is. <laughs> no, I want you to fucking move it. Listen to me, asshole. This guy doesn't know he's a video game character. It's exactly 138 bucks in unmarked bills. My housekeeper does a pretty good job of keeping this place clean. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan Ransom the clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hintron 3000, what? trademark, at 4468. Who needs a hint? Four, four, six, eight. So that's why the phone is there. Okay. Ah. I can't get up! Ransom, you jerk! I think my steels are broken! I'll st Welcome to the fully automated Hintron 3000 system. We aim to make your experience playing Thimbleweed Park easier. If you're ever stuck on a puzzle or don't know what to do, phone us. The hints here will change depending on which part you are currently playing. If you can find a hint you're looking for, it's because you don't need to solve it right now. You can always just hang up when you're done, my feelings won't be hurt much. How can I help you?
There is a different place you need to search to find more money. Where would you hide a lot of money? A safe. Perhaps Ransom has a safe place in his trailer somewhere? Thank you. Goodbye. So he's got a safe in his trailer. I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! <laughs> Ransom, you jerk! Ransom, you're a so they, dodo! So they have a built-in cheat I'll line? That actually is pretty good. I like that they have the built-in cheat line. That's... Whoops, sorry guys. That's, that's actually a cool feature added. I appreciate that. <laughs> It came off the wall. It's my locked safe where I keep all my f money. Let's see if I can remember this f combination. What? I have to remember a random combination. Okay, now. And finally, well, that didn't work. Seriously, I have to like figure out my combination. It's my locked safe where I, it's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... Well, that didn't work. It's an IOU. Ransom the f clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. Too funny. Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Oh, that's the uh, secret code. Hmm. hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Clown. 
so... What is it again? Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top. Hmm. The number of, the number letters, of letters in the, the bottom, bottom left, left word of the big, of the big top sign. Awesome, you're a total I can't get up! I think my stilts are broken! Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Try your skill. You got my money, ransom the ass white clown. How many kids do you say you have? I have three kids. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. I think I got it. You, I'm out of here. I can't get up. I'll get you, Ransom the Clown. It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. I can't open that. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. Sorry about some static. And finally... Top da. Next time I'm setting it to one, two, three. Take the money, Lebowski. Take the money. It's exactly $1,138 in unmarked bills. I think my stilts are broken! Ransom, you jerk! I think my stilts are broken! I love that I knocked down the mine. Lots of prizes! You got my money, ransom the ass white clown. I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Win big today. Win big today. Win big today. Give me my joke book, motherfucker. Yeah, you did. Hey, guaranteed to hit something. Ah, step right up.
Sorry, I'm exchanging text messages. Gonna have to wrap up pretty soon. In a few moments. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna headed pleb. I'm right. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the Insult Clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The low IQ, the weird speech patterns, the same ugly face. If that ain't just one weirdo, somebody definitely their sister. back on the fucking uh, two years ago. Stephanie called me on the uh, Google Hangout by accident. What's the deal with all these Tron machines? That's some great priorities you got there. Yeah, you can't cure cancer or help the blind see, but at least you don't have to wipe your own asses thanks to the Toilet Tron 3000! Hey, you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Cause if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny. But most laughed because they were uncomfortable. And laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. This game's but after the deep. show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off! Hop on my private jet and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen. Yeah. What the? F this makeup isn't coming off. No. You old lady. You up the? You. Come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And 
And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. That's so random. So, like, you ask a question and you play a little side mission? Pretty sweet. I'm, I need to take a break for a few, but I'm going to continue playing this game, so I may keep streaming. Play some music or something like that. have music right now. I will be back. I would take a break. <laughs> Watch some Riverdale. Come back. I'll talk to you soon.
Just finishing a quick snack. I'll be back in a, in a few minutes. Being in the... Sorry to Broke and anyone else who happens to be watching this later. I have a house guest. House guest is leaving pretty soon, but instead of stopping the stream and restarting it, I figured the extended break and the perfect time to shove six pizza rolls down my throat and guzzle some ginger ale. So, half in the sugar rush, half getting ready to eat some dessert sandwiches. After a bite of chocolate, I shall be back.
Looks awful. Not like the New York dogs I'm used to. Looks awful. Not like the New York dogs I'm used to. It's turned off. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Strange signals are being transmitted by the government over the airwaves. We've taken over the radio station until they stop. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Beware the signals. I'm like literally the only idiot that can cut his mouth eating a piece of chocolate. Fuck it. Serves me right. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. an empty soda bottle. Detective Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. stuff that they're doing in this game. The way they're playing with this style. And it makes you always feel like you know you're playing an old style game, but you're with some new tricks to it. I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside. It doesn't budge. The iron gate is way too heavy to move, but I see a switch inside. do for you honey I'd like to order some food sure everything's on the menu board what do you want do you have a law enforcement discount and by discount I mean free I think I understand honey and yes we do I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, gotta go. 
<laughs> I feel better now. Is that a hand in a box? There, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hun. This used to be Ricky's cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. I don't have time for your life story. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and I think it's just... Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around, and I don't suppose you have any suggestions. YouTube. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and mo- Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Oh, that's not a valid tube make and model number, hun. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Let me see if we have them in stock. <sighs> Bad news, I'm afraid. They seem to be on back order. Do you have another tube you're looking for? I do, but I forget. Isn't that what I need? I have to show those dudes? Wait. I'm, I'm all, all too doubt. Thanks. Okay, hun. Just holler if you need me. I expected the graveyard to be a little spookier. Well, I haven't tapped the button like this in a while. Here we go. Tap, tap, tap again. Hi Lotus, what's up? No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have WC been the 67. signals. Yes, the signals. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. 
We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? WC, baby. We're... And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydratron tubes burn out again? Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clock. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine. Who could be afraid of a me who could be afraid of who could be afraid of a meteor? Space slime. Who'd wanna play this? Me, I wanna play this. It seems to be out of tokens. Gotta be cur it's the famous game. Tuna. It says Token Tron 3000 is guaranteed to dispense exactly one token each and every time. It's out of tokens. I guess I need to find tokens somewhere else. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, so I suggest you treat me with a... Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear... So if you aren't turning tricks, what are you doing dressed like that? If you must know, I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive so we can go to the will reading. And FYI, grief is no excuse to look like garbage. Then what's your excuse? Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose... Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can... The Edmund reputation is at... Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the Dolores. business to become a... A hooker, like her sister? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. She only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Ricky Lee, Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie. Hot from the oven. Pie. Whoever in... If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being...
Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. <laughs> It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm applying for a job at Mucus Films. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. Excuse me. Just have to keep going. Ricky Lee's Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toy-tronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our <laughs> reputation? <laughs> oh, okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers. Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my .8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a two millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. Let's 
sounds like the doorbell. Hey, bro. Yeah, all good, my friend. That sounds like that sounds like the doorbell. Sounds like the doorbell. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay. Back to my vitally important government job. <laughs> I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it, if the envelope is ripped. I tried. Game won't let me fucking eat. <laughs> I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great. It's turned off. It's turned off. Pretty well, pretty wilted. Who knows how long this has been in here? That's what I'm trying to do. I want to make some steam. There's nothing inside. 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 Bark two years. What's up, Lotus?
Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Hello, my favorite niece. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the Pillow Factory and restore the family heritage. Hello, my favorite niece. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the Pillow Factory and restore the family heritage. Hello, my favorite niece. You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm... I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, and Dolores. I, I can't wait Dolores for you to take over the pillow the factory and restore the family heritage. You're a wussy, Dolores. <laughs> it's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. Hmm. Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why. Dolores, my dear, don't touch the painting. You'll get access to it and what's behind it after you've taken over the pillow factory. Where am I? I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer's connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? This is weird. Is there like a wrong way to do this? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Very ambitious. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. 
You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. When a game ships, it is encrypted using... Next question. How many actors can be displayed at one time? Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Unfortunately, you did not pass. Feel free to study up and take it again. I need study to go up. find a book about Mucus programming. My personal information has been entered. Just have to answer the hard mucus questions. How do I know I even got my address right there? Like a lot of different... These are part of my action figure collection. Notice when we go outside. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea. He's right. He's never even read it. You need more confidence. And stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. This is depressing. I should stick up for myself. There's a sign there. Better read it first. It says, out of order. The sign says, the sign, the sign says it's out of order. Signs don't define <sighs> me. I know I have a good idea. Of course, I of course I need to use the staircase to get up, to get the fucking book, <clears throat> to knock Ferris out of thirty-one fucking flavors. Why not plush toys? What Lotus? Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. <sighs> Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. This is Uncle Chuck's index. This is Uncle Chuck's index. Tron 3000 library.
It's an LFG-1982 tube in perfect condition. I can't push that. I can't pull that. R Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie. Hot from the oven. It's so good, it'll kill ya. It's in here pretty tight. I'd need an LFG-1982 tube puller. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. The fireplace looks very clean. I can't push that. Oh, excuse me. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. What load apps? It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. I need some help. Gotta find a book on mucus. If only there were a large library nearby. Yeah, I get that there's a huge library here. I'm in the library. I know where I gotta look for the book. I can't use the fucking staircase. The sign says, the sign says it's out of order. The sign says it's out of order. Fuck <sighs> your sign. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. The sign says it's out of order. Hmm, it says there's a book on mucus here. 
It's in section 3.1. Why not plush toys? I can call all these people? Why not really plush toys? All those people. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. How can I help you? You need to get your job application ready to mail. Thank you, goodbye. That's not what I mean, asshole. Why do I... Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. How can I help you? The Mansion Library has books on every topic, including mucus phlegm. The Index Tron 3000 in the library can lead you to a book which will help you cram for the I test. I know both those things, asshole. The M Mucus Programming Primer is in Section 3.1. You're telling me all information I already know. Numbers starting with 1 are on the first floor, so... Yep, yeah, third floor, I get go it. Go up the staircase. I get that. The sign says the staircase is broken. It looks fine to me. Maybe the sign is lying? The sign says the staircase is broken. It looks fine to me. Maybe this pick up. Thank you. That's what I say, but it's not letting me Why go. not plush toys? It says, it says, out of order. It says, out of order. The sign says it's out of order. Fuck you or you won't do what you tell me. <gasps> no one will miss this out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. Fucking stupid. I'll be right back.
like, do I really need to learn coding to play this game? That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. When a game ships, it is encrypted using... Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Unfortunately, you did not pass. Feel free to study up and take it again. I need to study the Mucus Phlegm programming book some more and try again. No, I'm going to try to cheat my way through this. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary Mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. When a game ships, it is encrypted using... Next question. How many actors can be displayed at one time? Next question. What kind of multitasking does Mucus use? It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to study the mucus phlegm programming book some more. God, I'm back in school. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. When a game ships, it is encrypted using... Next question. 
How many actors can be displayed at one time? Next question. What kind of multitasking does mucus use? Next question. What type of files are compiled scripts packed into? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> um. Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Unfortunately, you did not pass. Feel free to study up and take it again. I need to study the mucus phlegm programming book some more and try again. Okay, I gotta handle this in a very modern way. <clears throat> I'm going to handle this in a cheating way. By taking a picture of this fucking book so I can look at it while I enter the fucking code. While I take the test. I'm cheating on the test. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. When a game ships, it is encrypted using... Next question. How many actors can be displayed at one time? This is stuff I couldn't do back in the fucking day in these games. Next question. What kind of multitasking does mucus use? Next question. What type of files are compiled scripts packed into? Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the mucus phlegm programming test. Yay! I, I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. This printer ribbon looks all dried out. It won't print anything. It's Uncle Chuck's new invent. This printer ribbon looks all dried out. It won't print anything. Oh my god, mercifully, can anything just go right in this game? Can I just print something? My printer cartridge is out? Come on! Really? You don't have an extra. Well, what do I have to do here? It's Uncle Chuck's new It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. Uncle Chuck is too cheap to buy ribbons, so he just re-inks the old one. It doesn't last very long. I still get lost after all these years. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons, I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Just get some polycyclic hydrocarbons along with methyl ethyl ketone and make the ink like I showed you. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck.
He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. It's a defunct robot prototype. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken... It's a box, but it's... It's a box. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Uncle Chuck is too cheap to buy ribbons, so he just re-inks the old one. It doesn't last very long. Hello, my favorite niece. How do I make printer ink? Printer ink is a scam. Make your own, like I showed you. And if you really want to do it cheaply, just get some ash and gasoline and mix well. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. Where am I? Where am I? It's a gas can. Don't get your hopes up, though. It's a gas can. Don't get your hopes up, though. Are you talking to me? Don't get my hopes up? What an asshole, Dolores. It's very dry firewood. It's special gas for chainsaws only. It's pretty full. It's a log of firewood. It's special gas. It's a log of firewood. Good idea, but not while I'm holding the log. Oh. Duh. I'm so smart. It's a log of firewood. It's special gas for chainsaws only. It's pretty full. This log should burn really well now. The firewood is doused with gas, ready to be set on fire. I need fire. I thought it would be easy. I thought I did it. I was excited for a half a second. It's turned off. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. It says out of order. Uncle Chuck is too cheap to buy ribbons, so he just re-inks the old one. It doesn't last very long. I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great.
Now, I can't say anything bad about this game for one of these kind of games. It's pretty smooth. Far less of an issue playing this on PC. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid pu- It's just, it's very traditional to those style of games. <clears throat> and that can be a little frustrating at times. It's reminded me of frustrations I had as a child playing a video game. <laughs> Sorry, Dolores had to witness that. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. Oh, broke. How can I help you? I don't envy you. I'm considering going back to work with kids, and I'm like, why am I considering doing that? <laughs> why do I want to go entertain hundreds of kids and have them go fucking nuts? You need to make ink. Talk to Uncle Chuck for some clues. It's on the desk in Chuck's workshop. Thank you. Goodbye. It says ink on the desk in Chuck's workshop? That asshole's making me make This ink. is Uncle Chuck's Index Tron 3000. Fuck Chuck. Every guy named Chuck an asshole? Thank you, Broke. Good point. And I get to go home and leave. It's true. Very true. Oh, Dolores, 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 how many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with- it, It's Uncle Ch it's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multiband oscilloscope with faith. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward. It's a defunct robot- Oh, oh Dolores, Dolores. It's a defunct robot prototype. It's an empty bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink. I see some black powder around the edges, and it smells awful. Warning, contents highly flammable. It's an empty bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink. I see some black powder around the edges. Oh, Dolores, 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 how many times have I told you not to touch my things? But it's- It's a whip made out of network cables. The label says it's called Cat509 Tales, produced by getdigital.eu. I guess Uncle Chuck was an impatient system admin back in the day. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you like. Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you like. Yo, 
Dude, can you like give me a light or something? It's a defunct robot prototype. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected. The I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. Oh, excuse me. Okay, I'm done for now, but I will be back streaming this game again at some point. I'm all adventure gamed out. <laughs> Talk to you.